Hello, this is Brandon with Billiards and Darts Direct, and I'm going to teach you about your 90 grain, where the ball, where the cue ball goes after you strike your object ball. Okay, a lot of people have no clue where the cue ball is going to go. They know it's going to go in a general area, but I'm going to show you precisely how the cue ball works. Pretty simple. Basically, my point of contact, where the ball is going to go in the hole. Okay. This is my point of contact where I would have to hit the cue ball on the object ball to make it in the pocket. Okay? So from there, I'm going to go over to a 90 degree angle from where that is. Okay? And I'm going to put a piece of chalk right there. Now this is when the ball is sliding. When I'm just hitting center ball and the cue ball is sliding off. So after it hits, the cue ball slides for a certain period of time. And during that, it's going to go at a 90 degree angle. Okay, okay. you can see it goes right towards the chalk. Do it again, we'll pick another spot. See where I'm making my contact. See, it goes right towards the chalk each time. Now, so knowing that, if I want to change it, I want to do something different, you're going to notice, even if I use English, okay, so I'm going to use my 90 degree angle. Move this chalk down about right here to my 90 degree angle. But I don't want to hit that piece of chalk. I want to hit further up on the row. Well, I'm going to have to put low on it, okay? But even though I put low on it, it's still going to travel at that 90 degree angle until the low English grabs it and pulls it forward, or pulls it back this way. You can watch and see exactly how that works. Okay? You can see it'll travel for a second and then pull that way. Again. Okay, get my 90 degree angle. Okay, just right here. Okay, so let's say I want to hit up here. I'm just going to give it a little bit of back English. Okay, so you can see it'll travel along that line for a sec, and then it grabs, and then it picks up over here. Same thing with high. I'm going to go high on the ball. See what my 90 degree angle is. Okay, which is all the way down here, almost scratching. Okay, but I want to pull it up here, so I'm going to use hot. So you can see that it would go along that line and then it pulls forward and goes off that line. So that's how I can manipulate where the cue ball is going to go. That's a 90 degree angle. This is Brandon with Billiards and Darts Direct and that's my tip for the day.